Chef Stu Smith here at Fresh Street Market with uh, right back for the Vancouver Whitecaps. Fraser Aird. Fraser, welcome. Thank you very much. I made my mind up saying that I wanted to play from Canada since I was born here. So after that, uh, I was lucky enough to get my first cap last October. That's um, awesome. And hopefully there's plenty more to come. You do much cooking at home? Zero. Zero cooking at home. <laughs> my missus does most of the cooking at yeah. home, to be honest. Um, but we do like to go out and try different sorts of food. Hopefully after this, I think she's going to hand me the, the <laughs> This is it. It's over now. The utensils, and I'll be doing a bit more You're after this, it. hopefully. I mean, Scotland kind of gets a bad reputation for food, but I happen to know that there's some very good food. Fish and chips are amazing. Fish and chips, I'll of course. I'll tell you that. And beer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we won't go there, but... Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I think in Vancouver, everyone's a lot more healthier. Yeah, very true. Um, and I think me and my missus are trying to like incorporate that into our diets now. See, so when I come back to Canada, they think I have an accent, and yeah. when I'm and in when Scotland, you, exactly, like they that, you don't speak Scottish. You're, you're Canadian, don't you? Mean? You're halfway in between, so for sure. Well, we're going to be cooking a salmon dish today with a braised uh, braised kale salad. That it helps, I guess, if you know what a tablespoon looks like. Is that good? That's well. That's perfect, man. You did a great job. And See, we're gonna... I, do, I do know what a tablespoon there looks you like. <laughs> you doubted me. I did. <laughs> yeah. And perfectly, you did a perfect job. Put the rest in, or? Yeah. We can go a little bit heavy on that guy. How do you feel about haggis? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all right. Yeah. Um, it's an acquired taste, it obviously. It is an acquired taste. A lot yeah. of Scottish people like it, but I think it's kind of grown on me. The more you eat yeah, it, yeah, yeah. the more I think you start to like it. So now we got our oil heated in there. We're going to go in with shallots and garlic. So you can just toss that whole thing in there. So actually, we, we can go ahead uh, and add our kale and our Brussels sprouts in on top of that. First. Uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. Uh, I'd Do probably go everything. Yep, the whole thing. Just pick the whole guy up there, and it's going to reduce down by something like fifty percent. It's a lot of water in kale, so can't be that hard, surely. <laughs> it's not. Perfect, man. You're hired. So if you want to give a little sprinkle of salt and pepper over top. How do you feel about Brussels sprouts? I can, I can tell you a story about Brussels sprouts. All right, let's do it. I went to my grandma's house for Christmas dinner one year, and she put them on my plate, and I wanted more turkey. Um, and she said, you're not getting more turkey till you finish your Brussels sprouts, and I absolutely hated them. <laughs> so from that day forward, I loved them, because oh. I was forced to eat them. So um, ever since then, I've grown to like yeah, them. Yeah, you do, and eh? They're, uh, yeah, they're one of my favorite sides, to be Me honest. Too. I really Me like too. them. Obviously, my, uh, both my parents were born in Scotland, yeah. my grandparents too. Um, my dad followed Rangers for 27 years before he moved over to Toronto. Um, yeah. Still followed them when he came, moved over. Uh, my mom and dad actually met at the Rangers Supporters Club in Toronto. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, so it's been a team my whole family supported yeah. their whole life. So when I got the chance to go over and play for them, also it was a dream come true. And the only thing that we're going to do to our um, kale salad is we're going to drop a little bit of balsamic vinegar in there. So okay. really it's to taste here. You don't need a ton because balsamic goes quite a long way. So yeah. maybe, you know, a couple of tablespoons. There's that measurement again for you. That's probably good right there. And give that a nice toss up in there. So we're going to do a nice big heap uh, spoonful right in the center of this plate here. And I'm bringing it over. And bringing it over, man. Watch the handle there. That's a gorgeous thing. What you want to do is you want to whip butter. I did organic butter here uh, with a bit of garlic. A bit of healthy. Exactly. A bit of salt and pepper, a uh, little bit of, uh, like I said, organic butter. And then we did parsley and, uh, and thyme in there as well. So again, we're not going to do too great big a, a spoonful on there. Just a small spoonful on there. Garnish it with a bit of parsley. And that's the dish, my friend. Fraser's first cooked meal. Fraser's first cooked meal. You have no excuse now. <laughs> the, the missus is definitely going to demand that you make this. Probably tonight and every night. So. <laughs> Probably. Right on. Well, I really appreciate you. you being here, man. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you. Brilliant, brilliant. Guess I'm not going out for dinner anymore. I found my dinner. <laughs>